Hello and welcome to the big one. The final week of the regular season of the Map Battle League. It has been a journey. It has been fun. It has been stressful. But it all comes down to this. It is between me and Armand for the number two spot, which would be direct promotion into Division Two, and whoever ends up in third has to go through playoffs, and that's not something I want to do. This week, I am playing Pluki, who is in first place, and he is the last player I want to be playing right now, but unfortunately, that's, uh, that's how this goes. Armand holds the tiebreaker over me, uh, that's 25Ks, which means... Well, if we end up on the same amount of points, he is above me. So, if he doesn't win his match, well, okay, I shouldn't say that. If he draws and gets a bonus point and I lose with no bonus point, then he's above me. Otherwise, if he doesn't win, he can't overtake me. If he does win, he'll be on 27, which means that... A loss with a bonus point or a draw would not be enough. I would either need to win against Bluki or draw with a bonus point, which would mean getting an impressive score um, on the map that I lose. Uh, all this is to say this is not going to be easy uh, because winning against Bluki is just going to be such a hard thing to do. And... Armand, I think, unfortunately, is fairly likely to win. He's playing Teaser, who's mid-table. And Teaser's map is a random map, this R here. It means that he didn't choose it. It was randomly assigned to him. So the whole home field advantage thing just completely goes away because it wasn't his choice. Uh, and then Armand obviously did choose his map. Even though it was his fifth choice, he, he, he still chose it. So presumably he feels pretty confident in Malta. It is worth noting that Pluki's map was random as well. Um, but he later said in the Discord that he was pretty darn happy with uh, the map that he got. Okay, it sounds like he, he quite enjoys playing Chile, which is bad for me. But uh, yeah, so basically if I can win this match, I'm fine. If I can draw it with a bonus point, I'm also fine. Uh, I don't know the result of the other match. It hasn't been decided yet, so if I don't, you know, get one of those results, if I, if I lose or, or or draw, then it's the result's going to be up in the air, and I'm going to have to tell you in the comments uh, what happened. So I'm really, really hoping I can win. I also, I'm also playing early um, because I can't record this weekend, so I'm playing during the week, uh, which means Pluki, there's a good chance he hasn't played at all. Which means I won't even know uh, how I did compared to him. But, ah, man, this is, uh, this is just so intense. I didn't want it to come down to this, but it has. So map one is Chile. Uh, the usual three minutes per round moving. Um, man, yeah, I mean, it's going to take... A really strong performance, I think, for me to even have a chance uh, at getting anywhere near his score here. So let's just let's just go. Hopefully, this is uh, not as bad as I'm worried it will be. Okay. Now, in terms of practice, I haven't really done any. Um, I know the regions of Chile which is good. Uh, however, there's nothing useful written on that sign. I was kind of hoping there would be. But I have to keep going. So yeah, I know the regions. So if, if there's one of those written, it, it will help a lot. <coughs> she was that? Does that little sign, does that tell me anything? Well, not if you just teleport me. 160, you know what? Maybe that does tell me a lot. 160 is here. That actually might be what I need. Now, how far does the 160 go? 
these are not marked, so I don't know, but it's definitely up there. So it's worth keeping in mind. I would like to get some sort of town name here. What's that? Nothing. Yeah, already minute 20 gone. Hopefully this is a town name. It's not. It just says go slow, so that's, that's nice. This, however, should help. Urukaraki and Kolwe. Now, are these on the 160? Urukaraki, Kolwe. It's a thing I don't know. I don't see them. I feel like I have to keep going. What does this say? Uh, Provincia de Arauco? What? I've never heard of that. That must be a second level subdivision. Oh, Arauco. Lebu? Lebu, Lebu, Lebu. What is Lebu? Crap. What is Lebu? Oh my god, what? I don't see that. Rukaraki Kolhe Lebu. What am I not seeing? Oh, you are kidding me. I don't have this. Oh, God, and he 5k'd it. I, I think I'm in trouble already. Oh my God, I'm blind. I'm completely blind. It was huge. It was visible from here. I'm actually, oh my God, what am I doing? So this is this was my mistake. I didn't realize that I thought the 160 ended here. I didn't realize it turned, so I didn't look over here. Oh my god, I'm already in deep trouble here. Oh, that's so dumb too. Like it was so avoidable. Rukaraki, it was all there. It was all there. That is yeah, it's a huge mistake. That's a that's a really bad start. All right. Oh my god. Yeah, that's that's not exactly uh, how you want to begin this. Well, Pluki has played, so at least I'll know the result of this match. But the other one will be a mystery. <coughs> well, so much for getting a bonus point. I mean, you never know. He might trip up later, but it's hard to see him screwing up, screwing up around that I don't. He's just such a good player. God, what? Just falling apart at the exact wrong time here. Just Limache? Is that a place? That's the only word I saw there that might have been helpful. What is this? Doesn't say anything. This is brutal. Uh, I just have not practiced this country and it's showing right now. I feel very lost. Ooh. 
Limache again. I think Limache is a place. But I have literally no idea where it is. Should I waste time looking for it now or? I doubt we're south of here. Limache, I don't see it. Am I going to get anything more here? No, I'm not. I'm going to miss this again. Maybe it's Santiago area. But I just don't see it. No, I don't see it. Sick, okay. Now he's ahead by... 3,500. This is just, yeah, it's it's all going down the drain right now. That was pretty small, to be fair. I don't think I was going to find that. <coughs> and it wasn't the worst of guesses, but it just wasn't nearly good enough. This is really bad. Um... I just need to pray that that teaser is able to to do something against Alma because at this point I'm gonna have to rely on that because I just I don't know what I'm doing right now. Ah, oh, dear. Can I read something, please? None of these signs have useful information on them. Oh, Puerto Mont. Okay. That makes sense. Uh, the water is south, which also makes sense. Um, okay, so we're on a big road that kind of goes south and then turns west and then goes south again. So this. Do we have street names? Yes, we do. Silva. Great, that's the only one I'm seeing. Oh, here's Silva. We probably started, um, let's see. Street names. Avelino Bravo. Ignacio Carrera Pinto. Um, oh no. Oh, I'm lost. Carrera Pinto. Uh, ah, just off. Well, he didn't find it, but he got the city, which is, at this point, plenty for him. So, what I, I just need him to screw up really badly, otherwise I don't stand a chance. It's another urban round, <coughs> which I do not think is good news for me. Atacama region, which is this one here. Uh, okay, cool. Let's look around. Go 
hopefully given the region it shouldn't be that hard as soon as I find the city name to actually find it on the map especially because it seems to be a reasonably large city at least by the standards of this part of the country unfortunately finding a city name might not actually be easy here Okay, well, this has not gone well so far. Not found a single piece of information. Here we go. Oh, that changed, but hopefully Vianar. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, okay, let's just look for street names then. Just why? Stop blurring everything. Oh, this is just infuriating. I think it says Peru. And this one's Victoria. Um. Which way do they go? So it's kind of northwest. Uh, what? Am I blind? Oh, Victoria is here. Do we have a Peru? Oh, there it is. Just about got there. Okay, he got it too. Alright, I have to pray that this is like a national park or something. Like, this This needs to be stupidly hard and I need to be able to get it somehow without him getting it. Otherwise, it's over. Well, to be fair... Well, it doesn't look easy, but it... Ah, uh, never mind. <laughs> <coughs> There's no way he drops 3,500 points here. Let's be real. Um, I have not heard of any of these places, to be fair, but... Farayones, La Parva, Colorado... Uh, what? Okay... Um... Maybe we can get better city names. Santiago, I mean, that's a thing. Oh, are we north of Santiago? <coughs> La Ermita. Yeah, what? Why do I even struggle with this? There's no way this is that hard. My poo? What? Vialidad? Are these cities? If so, where are any of them? I don't... Man, this is killing me. I just can't find any of the places that I've been seeing. Farionis La Parva, Colorado, Valle Nevado.
ever up here? This doesn't make sense. We can't be up there. What? How are none of these places findable? Wow, this is crazy. I'm just doing so badly right now. This is insane. Screw it. We're, oh, we're east of Santiago. Yeah, to be fair, those things were not findable at all. They were like landmarks. They weren't even cities. Okay, that was actually kind of hard, but unless he got like literally zero points on that round, I, uh, it's over. And he got 5k, awesome. Okay, well, that was a battering. I expected it to be. But yeah, that was bad, and that means that I am not getting a bonus point. So that means I am at the mercy. I am confirmed to be at the mercy of the other match. Which sucks. Um, but yeah, let's let's play the home leg anyway. I feel like even on a better day, I probably wasn't getting anything out of that game because he just played extremely well. But it uh, it does suck to have been at the top for most of the season and then to possibly lose top two in the last week. But well, there's another. Uh, well, I mean, we don't know. We don't know that that's going to happen. So. Let's try and win this. So this is no moving, the way I like it. More like the way Pluki doesn't like it. Um, I feel like no matter what map it is, if we're moving, he has an advantage over me. So I I needed to I needed to keep him from moving because he's just too good. Now, this is probably either Peru or Bolivia. I don't <coughs> I don't quite know which one I want to go for here. Kind of leaning for Bolivia. We've got some pretty big mountains. I'm thinking like somewhere in this kind of area in Bolivia, but Uh, I don't know though. Do I want to go for Peru? Can't decide what's better. It looks a lot like Bolivia to me though, so. Yeah, I think what I'll do is put it on like the one, like, uh. Yeah, but there's so many roads here. This is all urban to some extent. It's also a divided highway. So the, no, I don't think this is the one, but I mean, we're not right in the mountains either. Where would this be? I'm trying to remember which of these roads have coverage because not all of them do. Not a lot of uh, mountains over here. Maybe we're further south. Maybe we're like Oruro. Yeah, this. You know what? This would make some sense. Actually, is there a lake over there? Honestly, there could be. Yeah. So I'll go for this. Nice. It's a good guess. And he's not in the top three. So he either hasn't played, which would be weird given that he played the other one, or he's below Soviet spy. So that's a good start for me and a really, really solid guess. This is why I play no moving. I feel like I can actually do okay with it. Uh, 400 south, 500 east. That's very Utah of you to name your streets that way. Utah street naming system is stupid, but ooh. Hello, is this St. George? 
because I know St. George is being that city that has the red cliffs directly to the north. <coughs> so I could believe this being St. George. <coughs> Ugh. So sorry about the coughing. I didn't want to record tonight for this reason, but I had no choice. Okay, so... Yeah, I apparently, like... The, the way the road names work is like it's like the distance from like the temple at the center of the city or something which is like the most Mormon like Utah thing ever <laughs> and it's just like it's so it's so weird like all the it's like the only state that names streets like this it's it's so strange at least it's kind of a giveaway anyway I, I will stop blabbering and actually try and find this so 400 south 500 east I hope it's St. George. I mean, this is so dumb. 400 south, 500 east. Like, so are we here? Because that would make sense because I'm pretty sure yeah, it does have these red cliffs like directly to the north of the city, which I think is what I'm seeing here. <coughs> So, yeah, screw it. I'm going to try this. Got him. Let's go. That's big. Okay, so he got it as well. And he's... Okay, his first guess was not actually that bad. So he's not he's not behind by much. But I'm glad I was able to, to uh, identify St. George. Mongolia. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, I'm so crap at Mongolia. There's a member of the French community who wrote, like, literally a 160-page book on just meta in Mongolia, and I have not actually read it because, well, if you have read that, then you have more time on your hands than I could ever hope to have, but... <laughs> The thing is, there are so many small towns in Mongolia that have coverage, and they all have like different metas and different ways of recognizing them, but I just don't know them. Like, I just have not spent the time to actually remember them. So unfortunately with Mongolia, I'm a little bit clueless, which makes this pretty darn difficult. I just have no idea where I am. I mean, this could be so many places. I know that Setzer Leg has, like, sort of mountains around it, so... And it's kind of in the middle of the country, so it's feeling like sort of a, an appealing place to guess here, but... I mean, realistically, I, I, I have no idea, but this, I mean, it, it would make sense, wouldn't it? I mean, with with this big mountain thing to the north, I, I would definitely believe it. So that's what I'm going to try. It's not. Uh, did he get it? Good. He didn't get it. Thank goodness for that. Okay, so I'm now ahead by a little more because he presumably put it further east. It was carved. And yeah, thankfully he hasn't read the book either. <laughs> if he had, he would be ahead right now. But okay, uh, I can. Uh... Well, unfortunate thing is that this this half this leg of the match probably doesn't matter at all anyway. But yeah, I mean, it could matter if Amo like draws and gets a bonus point, but that's probably not going to happen. You never know though. Still, may as well try as hard as I can. Uh, so this is Hungary, I think, with the language, the Gen 4. And I have no idea where in Hungary. I don't really want to waste my time. So since I'm ahead, I'll just put it in the middle and move on. E okay, it's the east, but he was a little closer, but that's okay. I just need to not screw this last one up. <coughs> and thankfully, it's Europe, so I won't screw it up. I was a little worried it was going to be like Brazil or something, but... Thankfully, not the case. So this is Czechia. 
with the Gen 4 in the language, which means I am literally safe no matter where I put it. So I'm just going to go in the middle and yeah, that'll do it. All right, so that's a win. Uh, he ends up with 20,415. <coughs> and mostly what made the difference there, I think, was Mongolia. At least that was part of it. I still would have won otherwise, though, mainly because of round one. Uh, he went in Bolivia, but he was closer to Titicaca. And then, yeah, Czechia, similar guesses. Hungary was similar. St. George, he figured out. And then, uh, yeah, Mongolia was interesting. He just went Ulaanbaatar, which is reasonable. Um, I, I don't know if there are, like, those types of mountains around here. I guess there are. There, there are mountains. So, yeah, that, that's a fine guess. Because there are definitely sort of areas around Ulaanbaatar that look very different from, you know, downtown Ulaanbaatar. So, okay, well, that's going to do it. Uh, unfortunately, I do not have a conclusive uh, answer for you all on what my fate is going to be. I'm going to end on 27 points because that was a draw with no bonus point. Pluki will end on 30. And yeah, I am within reach of Armand if he wins his match. Now, I may as well check right now whether Teaser has played. I played these seeds um, just, just to be able to, to check out the scores. But yeah, Teaser still hasn't played. Uh, I, I mean, I spent no time on this. I wasn't playing it seriously. I just decided I would do this so I could sort of check the match myself. But uh, yeah, Teaser hasn't played Malta, which means he presumably hasn't played Thailand either. Nope. Which means it's still up in the air. And I will let you know in the comments uh, whether Armand was able to win his match or whether he was not. And if he was, that will mean that there will be at least one more video to come because I will be in the playoffs and I will have to win two more matches in order to secure promotion. Hopefully I don't have to do that, but well, it is to be determined. So yeah, that's it. A little disappointing, but what the heck. It was always going to be a tough uh, match to win. And yeah, we move. So thank you all for watching. And hopefully for the last time this season, uh, but possibly not, I will see you later. And goodbye, everyone.